All right. In the midst of COVID-19, we are social distancing. That's what this is all about these days. David, you're joining me from home? Yes, joining you from home. From my I'm in my bedroom. So <laughs> welcome to my bedroom. Uh, right. Hey, David, so we're in the middle of this pandemic. Let's talk a little bit about how COVID-19 has altered just CPLC and everything we do in general life. Well, it's definitely altered. You know, Chicanos por la Casa, 51 years. We just celebrated our birthday a couple of weeks ago. But again, we serve 400,000 people on an annual basis. Programs from domestic violence shelters, drug rehab centers, Head Start facilities working with children, operate charter schools. So definitely is impacted. You know, we've rallied and I'm very proud of my team that we've circled the wagons and are still serving our, our constituency. Uh, it's very important. More than ever, they need our help. So there's no way that Chicanos por la Casa was going to stop providing services, you know, from getting the right uh, protection that we needed to serve our clients, to making sure our clients had food, to rental assistance, to now we're even helping the broader community, the small businesses. As the latest tote board, we're an eligible lender as a U.S. Treasury organization to make loans to small businesses. And the last tote board I had, we had helped over 250 small businesses to get a loan to help them get through this crisis. So we're definitely working hard to work for our community. That's awesome to hear. That's great to see that you're helping small business so we can keep them alive after this is over so we can Absolutely. keep supporting those small businesses. Now, David, uh, I'm going to change gears here and we're going to go to some uh, not so great news lately. Uh, we had the passing of Gumby Salazar uh, recently. Can you tell us a little bit about how important he was to you and to CPLC in the community? Well, it hit me both with CPLC and personally. He actually was family. He was married to my cousin. And so I'm deeply hurt by it and miss him greatly. You know, he was a, a legend in our communities as a band leader. You know, he started being a performer when he was a kid to now. And I don't think there's any uh, Latino Hispanic family in, in the greater Phoenix area didn't have him in some wedding of some sort, whether it was a relative or anything. Uh, always a great person that just was always so joyful, right? And when we had our board retreats or anything like that, you could count on Gumby to lighten it up and sing a song. He was always there to remind us, never forget why we're here. We're here to help the people that need our help, especially now during this COVID-19. You know, he was he was sending me notes on, on uh, Twitter or whatever there, on emails and saying, David, you know, we need to make sure that we stand strong and we go after any resources that's out there and make sure that our communities get their fair share of that resource. That's great. I was a great person. I always had a smile every time I saw him. I always said yes. hi. He was an amazing human being and we will yes. miss him greatly. David, thank you so much. I hope that the next time you and I get a chance to talk, we are face to face, not too close, but at least we're within six feet apart. Is that okay? Uh, that's okay. And you know, before we sign off, you know, I don't want to forget, you know, Mother's Day is coming up. So, you know, they still deserve their day and then Father's Day next month. So happy Mother's Day, happy Father's Day to all, all the families. Thank you so much, David. You take care of yourself and we'll see you soon, okay? Thank you, bye-bye. And as the leader of our community, CPLC has got all the up-to-date information and resources you need, not just for COVID-19 in English and in Spanish, but also for census, something very important. Every person counts. So you cleaned out your garage, rearranged your furniture, stocked the pantry, planted a garden. You know, social distancing can really take a toll on you. How about some fun? Shelter at home with us. Hit that subscribe button and never miss another fun episode of Subida. We're just we're just waiting on you. All right, let's do this. Or you can always sort your software again. Your call.